has long been known as the forerunner for gaming live streams for everyone from the casual gamer to streamers behind the pro league showcases that run for basically every major multiplayer game. Hell, even if you're looking to sell your body and run a few abuse scams, there's even space for the Amaranths of the world on Twitch. So, for a site so large, it's only natural that they decide to continuously shoot themselves in the foot, right? If limiting what you could say on stream, banning certain anti-safe space words, eliminating any transparency with earnings, allowing racist bots to run rampant across your platform, and cutting creator revenue significantly weren't enough to make you leave Twitch, well then maybe the significant changes to advertising will. In a recent policy change announced earlier on June 6, Twitch now has the following specifications within their content creators guidelines when it comes to third-party advertising. On-stream logos are limited to just 3% of the screen size potentially impacting visibility of sponsored content. Burned-in video ads where advertisements are permanently displayed on a stream are no longer allowed. Burned-in display ads which refer to static or still advertisements overlaid on the screen are also banned. And burned-in audio ads which involve audio clips promoting certain products or services are also no longer allowed. In addition to these changes, you now face a penalty of $25 should you choose to terminate your partner or affiliate agreement with the site. Yeah, as if they weren't screwing over creator splits already, now to leave Stasiland, you gotta pay the porter too. Hands. Are we the baddies? Despite the platform knowing that their biggest creators rely on outside sponsorships to make a living, Twitch is saying F you to everyone that has stayed loyal to them, even after the creation of far more lucrative streaming alternatives like Trovo, Kick, Rumble, and even YouTube Gaming. Honestly, this should come as no surprise to anyone, as more than anything, it's likely a push to have ads and promotions pushed solely through Twitch's platform as opposed to third parties, since the platform has been in financial hot water for some time and outside partnerships offer them zero dollar dollar bills. Hell, last year Twitch's president came clean with it too, stating that the cuts to streamer revenues was in response to finding the platform's balance between popularity and profit. The latter, which didn't seem to increase after Amazon's acquisition in 2014, and with the rise of competitors like YouTube Gaming, Twitch has lost a significant amount of exclusivity deals to the world's largest and most popular video hosting website. To top it off, controversy after controversy surrounding its Bigger's creators definitely hasn't helped. Recent rumors have also suggested that the Call of Duty League might be looking to create an exclusivity deal with YouTube for the upcoming 2023-2024 season, which, if there's any weight to this, would be a significant blow for the platform's traffic. If this policy goes through as well, any event that chooses to stream via Twitch won't be able to run any of their own advertising, hence less moolah for them as well. Unsurprisingly, like many companies that experience backlash, Twitch decided to walk back on the policy changes that were due to come into effect on July 1st, stating that they were overly broad and that they do not intend to limit streamers' ability to enter into direct relationships with sponsors. And we understand that this is an important part of how streamers earn revenue. I don't know how you can state either of those things after you release very clear-cut images to back up the changes you were ready to make. Either way, prepare yourself for more tomfoolery as they're going to update the policy's language and get back to creators as soon as they can. Regardless, any changes they potentially make to advertising can't be good for creators still dedicated to this platform, as the stipulations for many of those advertisers include things like banner overlays and select pre-rolled advertising in order for anyone to cash out a check. Twitch has shown their colors time and time again and they're willing to sink to the absolute lowest levels to make sure that they can make as much money as possible off of you, the creator, with zero fucks given to your well-being. I gotta say, I'm glad I left this platform when I did because toxic streamer mentalities aside, Twitch is a horrendous platform to be using, period. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for tuning in and stay frosty, friends.